Alright, welcome. Let's make an object rotate. In this scene we need to have a rotating alarm light. It's already there, it's prepared, but it hasn't yet been programmed. Let's do that. Antares makes it very easy as you'll see. Here we have selected our object called Lighter in the object hierarchy. And now we'll add to the program graph named Universe in the Antares drop-down menu. Here it is, the graph. Now we'll drag and drop the object from the hierarchy into the graph in order to register it as a variable. This is going to be an example of object-oriented programming, and every program needs two things, variables and functions that handle them. Now we've added an update activator which sets the program in motion. Quickly searching for the rotate function, we'll add that as well, as you'll see it's a transform do causes transformation to occur in a given object and the rotation is a type of transformation in 3D modeling. This object is meant to rotate at a regular pace so we link the update activator to rotate per second. We also then link the selected object's variable lighter to the system we have now. And now we've set our parameter in the inspector. Euler angles define an object's rotation around its own axis. 180 sets the rotation rate and if it were in the negatives, the thing would rotate in the other direction. Alright, we've hit play, and let's go back to the scene we were working on. The wireframe gadget around the plume of light is rotating, as you can clearly see. Uh, let's turn on the spotlight's visibility in the, in the object's inspector. As you can see, the color is specified to be red. Yes, that looks good. We'll turn down the rotational speed a bit. Clicking and horizontally dragging is very convenient for adjustments when you feel that the situation requires an artistic touch. Again, we're working with the y-axis, and that's the blue-colored arrow on the rotating gadget. And don't forget to save the graph when you're done. It'll discard changes otherwise. Anyhow, there you have it. Antares makes it very easy. Once you know where all the controls are, it becomes a breeze. Hope you've enjoyed.